Hi, it's Jesse Chard Perez here, AKA The Vidiot, and I'm here with two of my plated works, which is from the series called The Cyberdelic Escape from the Self-Replicating Goblin Cossacks. This is plate number four in the series, and this is plate number five. Um, so these works are, are not the actual full size. These are more the prototypes that I use to kind of uh, show them to people and I can put them in a car. When they go to a, a bigger format, which is about two meters, um, they're harder to transport and store. So when I sell the works, that's when I, I take them to the larger format. Um, these works are created inside um, at the outpainting uh, section in DALI 2. Um, so I use thousands and thousands of generative prompts inside that system um, to create these works. Um, the, they take thousands of generations of uh, prompting and, and choosing and selecting and discarding. So these works are sort of a process of editing and the reason why I call, call them cyberdelic artworks is because I love the concept of the word cyber which stems from the Greek uh, kybernetikos which means to steer or to be a captain of a ship. Um, essentially what I'm doing is I'm navigating uh, a conversation with, with the machine and I, it is giving me um, multiple uh, variations that I then choose. So it's a form of editing, it's a form of process of editing and it's like a conversation between human and machine um, and this is the product of this. Um, they're intensely uh, personal works, they're, they're, they take an enormous amount of psychic energy to, to produce. They're, they're, it's an extremely intense process to make them because it's quite a, um, uh, you know, the works are in, in of themselves quite intense. Um, but they're also quite cathartic. When, when I'm doing the process, uh, there'll be generations that'll pop up that like, make me laugh and, um, and give me emotive responses. So there is this sort of like, emotive interplay between the machine system and the human system. So yeah, these works are sort of, in a way, a commentary on, on finding the interface between human and machine. Um, I love Vangelis, the composer, and he always spoke to the idea that technology is like a chariot and that we should be in charge of the chariot. It's just a means to an end. It is a it is a tool that we can use. And if we use it with our human condition, we create fruitful work. If we are led by the technology, if we are kind of driven, you know, where the technology wants to take us, then that can be somewhat disingenuous to our human condition. So these works are in effect a way that I'm infusing my soul or my human essence into this machine but it is also helping me discover that.